This is target number eight from the 2016 Sycamore Math Invitational. Uh, this is a really nice problem in that it uses um, some pretty simple geometry and then some complex algebra uh, to get to a solution. The first thing is um, you need to know that if you have a diameter um, in a uh, triangle, um, then that means that that diameter is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So we know that a triangle ABC here is going to be a right triangle with hypotenuse of 24. So I went ahead and let A, B, B, X, and B, C, B, Y, knowing that my goal is going to be to find out what X plus Y is. Well, whenever I see a, a right triangle, um, one of the first things I'm always going to think about doing is the Pythagorean theorem. And so I'm just going to write down X squared plus Y squared equals 24 squared, which in this case is 576. Now, the second thing I got to do is I have to deal with this, and that is the area within the sector created by AC and arc ABC. And so we're talking about the this sector right here, which is that semicircle. But outside of the triangle is two thirds the area of the triangle. Well, the area of the triangle is going to be one half xy. And so the area of the sector that's outside the triangle, but inside those that um, semicircle is just going to be, well, if the radius is 12, because the hypotenuse is 20, or we've told the radius is 12, that means that the semicircle is 72 pi. So the area of this part is going to be 72 pi minus the area of the triangle, which we know is 1 half xy. And the relationship is that area is 2 thirds the area of the triangle. So we know that 72 pi minus 1 half xy is 2 thirds the area of the triangle. At this point, um, we haven't really gotten very far. We've got this x times y, which is something that it probably makes some of you feel uncomfortable, which is good. Um, and um, you're kind of looking at this like, I don't, I don't know even know where to go. But all of everything we've done is just kind of followed through with what was given to you in the problem. Um, and the next thing we want to do is we actually want to solve for the xy so that we can use the algebra I was telling you about before. And so when we solve for the xy, we're going to get 72 pi equals, well, this becomes 1 third xy, 1 half xy plus 1 third xy turns out to be 5 sixths xy. And so you get xy is equal to 6 fifths times 72 pi. Well, the reason we wanted to know xy is because we want to know what x plus y is. Well, x squared plus y squared, if we tried to take the square root of that, we couldn't actually get x plus y. However, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, well, that's a different story. That equals x plus y squared, which if we get x plus y squared to find x plus y, we just take the square root of both sides. So how do I create 2xy on this side? Well, I add two of these xy's. So that means I need to add two of these on the other side. And so 2 times 6 fifths is just 12 fifths. And so I'm going to add to 576, 12 fifths times 72 pi. If I type that into my calculator, I get 576 times 2.4 or 12 fifths. Um, we're actually adding plus 2.4 times. And then it's going to be um, 72 pi. That's going to give me 1118.867211. Um, well, that is what this is equal to, 1118 point dot dot dot. And to find what x plus y is, all I need to do is take the square root of both sides. So I take the square root of both sides, and I end up with 33.45. And that is the correct answer. So x plus y, we never actually figure out what x or y are. But by going through and doing these calculations and doing this uh, manipulation, we're able to find out that the sum of those two, AB plus BC, we can find, and that is 33.45.